So, this has been a wild ride. Uh, crazy semester. Well, not so crazy, but full of work and full of wonder and full of many, many, many things. So, I'll try and make this short and sweet and just give you an uh, idea of all the things that I've been up to over this year. Uh, it all began uh, some time ago in January with uh, the kind of leftover stuff from what I've been working on in the holidays and all this kind of newfound um, wonderment in uh, gears. Um, I also kind of made a statement to start out with uh, a drawing every week and um, the drawings you can see here are really becoming kind of complex and quite um, full and I think I wanted to try and get away from that from the start. Um, I was also still pretty into painting and as you might see there is a image of this finished painting of a baboon that I had done that kind of collaborated sculptural elements and I was pretty into that for a while even including um, scrapings from Jack's studio into a sculptural piece that was all glued onto it so um, I'll give you an image or a video of that Moving on and throughout the rest of the semester, or further on into the semester, I discovered some um, more of a liking of Jack's studio and more of a kind of yearning to photograph the things around me. And not only that, I'm noticing the success in all the things that are around in his uh, kind of space, the 401 enrichment space, as I found a whole bunch of tiles which I began to paint on um, and that seemed to spark some kind of progression in the work that I've been doing but I never really seemed to be capturing myself yet and that was further discovered as I went along and I found the um, beginnings of my sculptural makings for this semester as I was collaborating all the parts that I would, uh, had been finding and um, had found in the past to make little mini sculptures and little maquettes. And I was going on the notion from the gears, which I had uh, started off building, which was completely based off of this maquette um, little crane, and that perhaps these would become kind of a whole army and that I could make many iterations of bigger or better sizes. Um, this is around the time where the objects weren't necessarily starting in the full form that you saw them later on, but um, I had found the first object of this year that um, can say led to it all, as you would say. Um, so after a kind of slow start to the year of sculpturing, I proceeded to um, make a spot welded creature called the Angel of Death. And I spent many hours working on that to my great success. I found a new way of working that I really enjoyed, I really loved. Um, I haven't really revisited it, but it um, was certainly a worthwhile uh, thing to do and um, I was really happy to have uh, worked on it because it gave me a whole different sense of how I can work and how it came all mostly from my head and it seemed as though I was very um, motivated to progress linear linearly in a, in a sense and from moving from the start to finish and uh, I think that was uh, a really, that kind of signaled a little bit of a shift in where the semester went afterwards as um, I realized I needed to figure out a better way to start photographing the work. And so uh, 
what happened was I um, made a two-pieced uh, backboard for photographing all these things and was able to um, was able to um, segue that into all these objects that I had found and Sabine had been giving me as um, and originally the objects were intended to be made um, as maquettes and everything else but as I started collecting more and more of them I realized I wanted to start cataloging them so that became this whole other thing that exploded and uh, moved into an area of potential um, creative uh, infinity, if it, if, if it were even a possible thing. Um, and so this backboard was uh, something that really allowed me to go there and be um, animating these objects as I saw fit as the, the cataloging turned to this life of animating that really took hold of my um, kind of life view for the moment and took over my sleeping patterns and everything as I was uh, staying up late most nights doing that. Um, throughout all this I was able to also build some acrylic uh, boxes for Sabine for her birthday as well as um, improving upon my drawings as slowly they, uh, as I, do, I was doing them every week, they slowly got a lot uh, more complex and um, they strayed a little bit away from the disease. And I think that's a good thing and what is, it's what I wanted. So I was pretty happy having all this stuff on top of that being able to still draw so that that's something that's good um, furthermore the crane became my obsession in the end of the semester as I worked harder and harder on it to get it to work and get all these gears moving and I realized uh, slowly on that uh, early on that I wouldn't be able to um, finish it in the way that I wanted it in time. So I set out just to complete the prototype and have that ready for the final end of the semester. So all in all, it was a interesting start of the year and um, I think I learned that the video process that I've come to accept is really an important function of my art career and if I want to pursue what I've been doing with these objects and pursue more of a up-to-date showmanship of my work then I should keep on with uh, this doc this type of documentation and you know keep being invested in the making of things and so hopefully for this has been sort of an enlightenment of all the th things I've been doing and um, hopefully for the future that well, one the objects will continue and I'll begin to refine them and be, be able to uh, do the animations much quicker so that I have um, kind of more of a time to be able to do other things because I think that it was sapping up most of my life and I need to just dial that back a bit to be able to complete other work and also I hope to um, make good on the initial idea that these uh, things had been reserved for, which was to make creatures out of them. So I think all in all, um, I've gone really far in a short amount of time and done a lot of things and it's been really good. It's been really worth it.